Bum. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. I took the sleepy girl stream tag off the stream today because I was like, I feel totally with it and not at all tired. But that was a couple hours ago. I've gotten my teeth cleaned since then, and I'm basically a whole new person now. All of that cavity causing junk, all that tartar <laughs> buildup, it's all gone. I'm free and clear now. Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. I'm really excited um, to be really barbarous to some people in the stream today. I think I'm gonna. I think today's the day that I really just rip loose and uh, I'm just really mean to people in this game. I'm pretty excited about that. I think that's going to bring uh, much different energy to the chat today. Thank you for the teeth emotes. Uh, good, good use of those. Good deployment. Good job, everybody. <laughs> How y'all doing? I'll be nice to Paul. That's the only one. I'll be nice to Paul and Ava. Everybody else can suck ducks. Also, please draw some ducks. I think that sounds like a good idea. There's no murders. That's the thing, though. There's not yet... A murder has not yet occurred. Hey, Hannah. How's your father? Um, uh, Unwell. So, you know, hanging on. Still just concerned he's not improving. Make sure that he eats hearty meals. Yeah, I'll do that. I know your secret, Hannah. You don't know that I know because I'm a different person now, but I know everything. I know the season make it difficult, but he needs the best of what you have in storage if he's to heal. I'll send Nico over with a few of our good apples later. Okay, well, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice of you. <laughs> I guess that's okay of you, Hannah. I still know, though. <laughs> There's somebody upstairs I can interact with. There we go. That's true. There could be more murders at any moment. Here's Werner. Can I go anywhere else? No, nope. just talk to this doctor. Ha! <sighs> yeah! Tell you something. <laughs> Are you okay, my dude? Don't patronize me, girl. Ugh. Please let me sass Stoltz. Why was I cursed with a life in Tassing? What does this pathetic little Hamlet have to offer a man like me? Tell me, Magdalena. Nothing more than you have to offer it, which is nothing. Get fucked, dude. I was destined for the courts of kings. Not a town full of peasants who churn out more of themselves than the rabbits in the meadow. Wow, dude. Wow, dude. A town where craftsmen, learned men like myself, Baltus, even your father, have their minds wasted. And in a few decades, we will be dead, and Tassing will forget us all. That would have happened no matter where you have gone. God doesn't care. He never cared for me. He deserted us all when the abbey was destroyed. If he even exists. Okay, my dude. You don't deserve this place if you can't see its worth. Just a gaggle of fools and churls. Ugh. Churls is a funny word. You know, I've tried to do what's best for all, but none of you listen. It's only argue, argue, argue. You Klaus George Baltus. Ugh. I still can't believe you're working with him. You should be at home looking after your father. Pick herbs for whatever provincial remedies you still hold on to. Do something you're fit for. Trolls just want to have fun. <laughs> uh, and what are you fit for? Drowning yourself in beer all day? You bleh. No. You're trying to provoke me. I won't rise to it. <laughs> You'll find yourself a husband. You'll never find a husband with that attitude of yours, girl. That's not the insult you think it is. If you're kind of the bachelor I can expect to choose from, I should become a nun. I'm a good man, damn you. Educated. Important. I could have any woman if I wanted. If I cared to try. You'd be a hideous nun anyway. Uh, if you're determined to be an asshole, I'm going to leave. I have a mural to work on. Do a do on Magdalena. Just don't ruin the mural. Not that it matters anyway. Oh, Werner. 
Oh, Werner. Yeah, that really did make taking barbs all the more worthwhile. Uh, Alright, what was I doing last time? What have we got in our journal? Oh no, let's just look at the map. Um... Oh yeah, we can go talk to the twins at the mine. We can go talk to Smokey. I want to talk to Smokey. Love Smokey. Hmm. That soup's good. I made a I made a similar soup with kielbasa and lentils. That is what I have for dinner. It was very good. Can't believe how quickly the leaves change. Hey, Nico. Why aren't you at the inn? Oh, oh, hello, Magdalene. Nico, what are you doing out here? Biding my time, contemplate, comp contemplating life. In the forest at this cold time of year. I like the calm and the chill. Makes me feel lively. I'm not looking forward to returning to the inn, either. I doubt you're avoiding the inn itself or Killian, so I assume it's Hannah. Just so. Lately, Hannah and I fight more days than not. Aw. So I walk in the woods to clear my head. What happened between you two? See, I can still be a gossip, even though I'm not Andreas anymore. We lied to each other, fostered resentment, grew apart. Aw, Nico. It's a tale as old as matrimony. Ah! Truth be told, I'm not expecting much from it. Maybe you young folk are smarter than we were at your age. It's not true. We weren't. We aren't. I don't plan on being. We were in love once, I think. It's been so long, I hardly remember. Well, I was in love. Aww. I would have suffered any slight for her. Even that fucking Miller. Aww. At least Linehart <laughs> At least Linhart died in the revolt, but it didn't stop Hannah from disgracing our marriage. Wow, this is... This is a lot, dude. I was actually just... <laughs> I was actually just gonna go see the charcoal burner. I swallowed my pride and let it go on because I thought it would make her happy. But I shouldn't talk to you about this. Yeah, you've caught me in a weak moment, Magdalena. I mean, it's... it's fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't want to be mean to him. But I also remember the last time we were nice to him, and that was the wrong thing to do. Oh, uh, Mechtel, that's a good point. <laughs> that's a good point. You open your doors to gossip, you're gonna get gossip. <laughs> and that's good, that's bad. That's just what it is. Alright. Ugh. You have not missed much. Uh, I sassed the doctor. That's really what you missed. Um, maybe it's not appropriate, but I'm listening anyway. Perhaps if I were a better man, Hannah would still love me. I think this is more on her than you. I wouldn't worry too much. We're too old to change now. She's too stubborn. I'm too weak. It's pointless. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, this is a barb I can get into. It is if you keep acting like this. Do you expect Christ himself will come along and change you? I pray he would. I fear that the Lord's intervention is the only hope for us now. Hmm. Hmm. You and Hannah managed to rise, raise a kind man in Killian despite it all. Killian's a good boy. A diligent son. He deserves a better father. Aw, oh, come on, dude. Now you're just feeling sorry for yourself. You would be sorry too if you were me. Oh, whoa. Uh, gossip is a double-edged sword. That's very true. Thank you for resubscribing. I'm sorry I burdened you with this. Please, don't tell your father. I'm just now remembering that I didn't tweet. I'm gonna tweet. I wrote a tweet in everything. And then I didn't actually tweet it. Alright, it's tweeted. It's twat! Oh... Uh, wow, that's such a mean thing to say! That's such a mean thing to say. I Hobbs, I'm saying. Ooh, fadufa. Uh, go home, Nico. <laughs> Very well. Yeah, I twatted it, Mechtel. That's what that's what that word means. It's the past tense of tweet. I tweet. I twat. 
I, 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 <laughs> wait. <laughs> I tweet, I twat, I twat. I twat, I taw, a putty tat. I have twill, yes, exactly. I will twim. <laughs> Hello, is there something I can do for you? Knives need sharpening? Hmm. I'm Magdalene Drukerin. Are you a friend of Smokey's? I like to think so. I'm Vaslav. I'm a tinker. Travel around and help people out with sharpening knives, little things like that. Drukerin, are you a printer's daughter? Hell yeah, I am. My father and I are both printers. Do you sample the wares much? <laughs> you getting high on your own supply, girl? <laughs> uh, as often as I can. Vaslav, don't. You want to talk books? You're going to get in trouble again. What's he talking about? Nothing. Ignore him. <laughs> Nightbot was thinking of censoring that. But it's just grammar. It's just grammar, and so I don't see what can possibly be wrong with what I just said. This one can't help but talk to people about all the strange things he believes. I'm into it. He reads all sorts of books, talks to odd folks, gets ideas brewing in his head. Now that doesn't bother old Smokey none. <laughs> bother some other people a whole lot. Uh, Moon Rafai, uh, thank you for the resub and uh, have a good time playing it. Yeah, I feel like the the fewer and fewer people are turning up to the stream. Partially, I think, because we've been playing it so long, but partially because I think more and more people want to play it on their own, <laughs> and so they are not watching. But hopefully, they'll tune in for the VODs. Um, sounds like their problem, not his. Exactly. Sounds like there's nothing to worry about. Fine, you get run out of here again. Don't blame me. Again? Did you get run out of here? Do I want to know what happened? I do want to know what happened. You legit bought it about four hours ago? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. A long time ago, I got into an argument with some people in town. They told Father Thomas. To his credit, he told them to let it go, but somehow an Inquisitor found out. Oh no, Vaslov! Anyway, I had to leave for a while. So, uh, books. Haha, <laughs> strange ideas. Yes, the host, the Eucharist, the bread and wine, body and blood of Christ. Holy Communion? What about it? More and more people are writing about rejecting transubstantiation. The idea that the bread and wine of the Eucharist literally becomes the body and blood of Christ. Here we go. <laughs> yeah? Well, there are two ways to look at it. The first is on the ground that Wycliffe and Huss rejected it. Using our eyes, our senses, there's nothing perceptible that changes in the character of the bread and the wine. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Many people are saying that, yeah. <laughs> Uh, doesn't mean it actually changed. Must have sensitives. These are all really good points. Doesn't mean it hasn't actually changed, though. But that brings me to the second point. Even if the bread and wine turned to Christ's body and blood, bloody and blood, why is that necessary for spiritual communion? We are bound by flesh, attempting to reunite with the light of God through the Eucharist. The act, the observance, unites our will with that of Christ. He is present in us through the re re remembrance, not the physical act. Hmm. Oh. Are you following this? So what does it matter? Are you saying we shouldn't take communion? No, there's nothing wrong with taking communion as a rite or act. But if you accept that I'm saying, there are other things I'd like to discuss. Okay. <laughs> hmm. It seems like reading is an extra struggle. Rude. I'm totally fine. How I feel today is crabby, which is why I've been leaning on the barbs already so heavily. How I feel right now is that I have a half a bottle of tangerine juice waiting in my fridge at home, and I'm just like really excited to go home and drink that juice. 
that's my primary feeling right now. Excited for juice. <laughs> Are you ready to hear why it's important to disbelieve in transubstantiation? I do not stream at home. I have an office. I'm a professional lady. I have an office that I go to. Uh, and that's where I do my streaming from. In the future, I will most likely stream from home again. But for the time being, it's kind of nice to have a separate second location that is genuinely just for working. It's nice. It's nice. After, after living in um, tiny-ass New York apartments for many years, especially in a studio apartment for the last two and a half years, uh, it's just kind of nice to have a lot of space. Uh, and I don't have to pay for it. <laughs> That's the other nice thing about the office. Sarquan, thank you for the resubscribe. You haven't missed much. We are gossiping. Um, yes, I'm certain this is leading somewhere good. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic, but all right. Uh, there wasn't a barb in front of Vasilov. Vasilov, it was not sarcastic. Hope you don't have a long commute. Uh, no, it's fine. It's not very long at all. This all starts with Lucifer creating the world. Qua? <laughs> God was the word, and the word was truth, and truth is light. The light is God's will. We've, we've gone off the fucking fence. God's light contained aspects in what we consider angels, facets of his infinite intellect. One of these aspects separated itself from his intellect and manifest in the darkest as the corrupt will Lucifer. I actually only came to talk to Smokey. <laughs> so... Um, by what power could a portion of God's will separate from the whole? The will moved itself. Actually, I just got finished rereading all of Sandman, so I'm actually kind of super into this. <laughs> yeah, tell me how gods work. How? Tell me how facets work. God's intellect, being infinite, also contained the capacity to transcend the infinite. Sure. To exist outside the boundaries of God's infinite light, the corrupt will brought into being an equally infinite darkness. Within that darkness, Lucifer casts his false light, a corrupting imitation of the divine intellect to create the world. All material in our world is inherently a corruption manifested of the false light. Okay. No, he's wrapping around to an allegory of the cave situation. We still have a connection to God's God through our intellect, but it is flawed by existing in our physical bodies. <laughs> no, Liz, I think that's, I mean, that's kind of the vibe, right? Like, it, in Plato's conception of the allegory of the cave, I don't think he ever clarifies, like, what what was causing the shadows or what like there was no larger structure theological structure to his philosophical argument because it wasn't it was a philos it was like a, a concept like it wasn't like this is true it's like this is this is a metaphor but uh, i think you could really easily <laughs> if you wanted to make some sort of weird religious argument you could apply what Vatslav is saying to that allegory um was Jesus flawed by being a man even though he was born of a virgin? He was not born of a virgin. I'm not hearing any of this. And it would not matter if he were. Lucifer was a rebellious splinter of God's will. The Christ appeared when God willed his divine intellect into Jesus. But you said that physical bodies were all corrupt. Yes, but while we are the heirs of Lucifer's rebellious intellect, Christ received wisdom from the light of God himself. He did truly die and was truly resurrected in body. But his reappearance was only important for him to convey the message of salvation to the people. In truth, resurrection is always happening. Since if we die without grace, our souls are condemned to be reborn. This physical world is the only hell we know, living again and again. The only torment. Ah, no, I'm not on board with that, my dude. This life can be pretty okay sometimes. Uh, uh, please, please tell us about the soup. I would love some soup chat. I think that's a sad way to look at life. Maybe, but it is how I see it. In five years, I may see it another way. I hope so, dude, because it's a fucking bummer. Thanks for indulging you. <laughs> it was illuminating and crazy, but I'm glad we talked. It's nice to see some green this time of year. Horhound is one of the few plants that grows here year-round. 
Hey, Smokey. I actually meant to come see you. <laughs> I was actually, I got distracted. Uh, hold habits, I suppose. What brings you to my corner of the woods? More gossip? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Smokey. <laughs> um... Uh, <laughs> yes, actually, but first I wanted to ask you about the old salt mines. The mines? Is that a new interest of yours, Magdalene? I don't see the town folks trek out there as much as any anymore. Last I saw were those two twins making trouble. Now uh, they know a way in, but I'll be damned if I ever set foot close to that place. What are you so interested in over there? The mural, mural in the Red House needs a section about the earliest days of Tassing. The mines are the oldest part of Tassing, and you keep a keen ear. I thought you might have heard something. I don't know about getting down into the mines, but I do know a fair few stories about them and the other ro Roman ruins around here. The old stories my father used to tell me when he was a burner of Tassing. The one about Mars and Tassing, the nymph, was always my favorite, though I blame that on my youth. Yeah? You gonna tell us a weird horny story? Oh, Tassia. Hmm, folks named the town after a pagan god, a Roman one at that. I don't mind telling you the tale, Magdalena, but I warn you, it's a bit... Body. Ha 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 ha. Oh, tell me more. Ha <laughs> ha. I won't be scandalizing you. Nah, whatever. Can't have your father hounding me for any coarseness, but I'll tell you the decent bits of what I remember. <laughs> I mean, if Smokey hasn't changed much, that, that I appreciate. <laughs> you go to the local gossip to get the tea on the town's history and run into a handsome hobo who tells you everything is fake and life is a hologram. What do you do? Bed down. <laughs> that If that was an option. But we didn't take the flirt option. And, and amazingly, the game did not give me an option to be really mean to Vatslav, which I think is uh, kind of curious. Like, the fact that there was not an option to be like, dude, that's some whack shit, uh, is really interesting. Ugh, everyone excludes me from the fun. You'll have your fun in time, Magdalena. You just wait and see. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So what's the story? Well, legend says that Mars went hunting in the woods and spied a fat boar for the taking. He just pulled back his spear when he heard a woman scream in terror. Ah! Of course, the creature ran off, and the god was angry at the loss of his quarry. So he trampled through the woods to see why a woman was in the forest and not in the local town. Why would a god... Why would a god be hunting in Tassing's forest? How should I know? Maybe he just wanted a brisk walk. Besides, why should anything the gods do make sense? They were... These were the old days, when spirits and ghosts prowled. Hmm. What do you mean, prowled? Prowled, you know, like spirits and shit. I can't just say they walked through the woods like you or me. They prowl. Yeah, mostly, mostly what you missed... Uh, uh, did you mean Viola was um, some whack theology <laughs> from Vasilov? All right, all right, all right, keep going. So Mars found a nymph, Tassia, bathing in a spring with a fat, ugly satyr goading her from the shore. Enraged at seeing this, the trapped nymph, Mars transformed into a wolf and slew the slater. Slew the satyr. <laughs> and in return, well, <laughs> Tassia bathed the god. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> I get it. They bathed. <laughs> I did warn you, Magdalena. When Mars left the pool, he dripped into the ground and it blossomed with flowers and crops. They say that's why the valley is so fertile. <laughs> uh, that one might be tricky to paint on a mural. <laughs> I don't know if the council will approve. I doubt they would, but you're the artist, aren't you? You get to choose what the murals show. I wouldn't let those old bastards keep you from painting what you want. You're saying the- you're, Smokey, you're saying the mural should be horny. <laughs> so much of what the Romans left behind was destroyed over the years, but I like that we still have these tales. You can never really destroy stories as long as there are people to tell them. Of course, the Romans left a hell of a lot behind, too. The town is more Roman than Bavarian, really. Hmm. Because of how long it was a Roman colony? That and how much of the town is built upon the Roman foundations. Tassing is actually much smaller than it was in a Roman's day. At least that's what I make of it. 
The runes go deep into the forest and all the way to the old mine. Half, is ta half of Tassing is built on Roman stone. Take a walk around town and you'll start noticing things. We use their stone to build. The old temple by Satia's shrine has grown over, but the aqueduct runs for miles. Even the abbey used to be an old Roman fort. You can see some of the Roman paved stones under the road if you look hard enough. We may not be Roman, but this town is. Was it Francis Bacon who said all civilizations are built on the backs of other civilizations? Mm. Tassing has been building upon itself for hundreds of years. What a beautiful idea. That's the way of things. Most people don't notice the old stones. Too busy in town to notice what's right in front of them. Palace in the street, centaur in the sheets. <laughs> Hops. <laughs> mm, maybe I should go take a look at the mine. Get a better sense of what things are actually like. Ah, ah, nothing will stop you, I see. Well, I won't either. Just keep a lookout for wolves or satyrs that you might see down there, eh? I'll let you know if I see any. Thanks for my- uh, thanks for the help. You dirty old sot, you. Alright. Let's go check. Check it! Let's go check out what we got. What we got down here. Oh! A pig? Out here? Oh no, it's gonna be a satyr! He's gonna turn into a satyr! Must have broken out of its pin. I wonder who it belongs to. Hmm, free pig, it sounds like. I'm so glad Pogger Duck. Look, it's the son of Pogger Duck. Hello. I hope your mom's okay. We love you here, Pogger Duck. I mean, the Man Nancy Drew game was also about a mine. It is weird how many games have mines in them. Uh, I wonder if there's something there. I'm gonna have to pull on that thread mentally a little bit. Emmy, thank you for the Prime resubscribe. Feet first, lady. If I wanted to pick the mural as accurately as possible, I have to go down to the shaft myself. Sorry, go down the shaft myself. The entrance is so steep. No one's used it in years. There must be some way to get down there. Mine makes for easy linear cave, I guess? But it feels like there's got to be something like... I don't know. M mines are some one of those things where it's like... Kind of a huge important part of early American history. And like... But like far enough away that nobody actually... Nobody who's making video games has probably ever been to a mine. Or has family members who have mined. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. It just feels like there's, it's just one of those things that people take for granted as being a thing people know about uh, when actually they might just not know anything about them. You know what I mean? I ain't never been down in a mine. I'm in mine country. I'm in the Midwest where, where there have been quite a lot of mining done. Mines have inherent level design. I mean, I guess there is something really satisfying about like this uh, restricted space that does have pretty clear a clear structure one entry point no exit oh it's interesting mines are liminal I would never say that elevator shafts modern dungeons I mean I guess so a mine is the modern dungeon what do you think dungeons are like, what do you, what do you think that the dungeon in Dungeons and Dragons are? It, the, those were mines. Like, I don't think mines are modern dungeons. Like, a dungeon was, like, a location, right? In, like, a castle. Normally, weren't they in castles? See, this is one of those things where we take for granted that we know what the fuck a dungeon is. But when pressed, I don't think I, I could really give a good definition for dungeon. I don't know. Dungeons are monsters and treasure mines. <laughs> mm. Emmy, that's about accurate. <laughs> that's about accurate. If I rigged a rope to the top beams, I'd be able to get down more easily. Yeah, I saw some rope in the workshop at home. I should be able to find everything I need there. I'll have to come back later. Okay. That feels like a very reasonable option. Although I kind of I kind of thought I would see the twins over here. 
Uh, I guess I should figure out whose Pilg this is. Oh, hey, Apollo. I just never talked to you. I forgot that you were there. <laughs> hey, Magdalena, what's up? Can you show me how you and Artemis get into the salt mine? The mine? Yeah, why? It's all gross and creepy. I need to get down there and see what the pagans and Romans left behind. I need references for my murals. Oh, the murals. Uh, I would ask Artemis about that. She's pretty protective of the mine. All right. All right, where is she? She says yes, I'll show you later. What are you doing here? Looking for frogs. Apollo loves frogs. Artemis says she saw one the other day and, they're, and we're trying to collect a bunch. Frogs don't come out this time of year. How do you know? Artemis said she saw one. They don't. Hildegard says they're cold and wet creatures. They wouldn't be out this autumn. Huh. Maybe that's why I only have one. What do you need frogs for? Chewenius, thank you for resubscribing. Uh, and, um, uh, it's, I mean, it's totally fine for me if you lurk. <laughs> I certainly don't mind. I'm glad that you're getting something out of chat even though you're lurking. Like I tell you, you'll snitch. I won't. Yeah, right. Sorry, Mags. I'm not telling. You'll just have to wait and see. Or ask Artemis. Maybe she'll tell you. All right. And good luck, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, Magdalena. Uh, you know, Apollo seems all right. Oh, yeah. Passover started last night. And also, uh... We're deep in the throes of Ramadan, aren't we? And Easter is Sunday. That's too many things. It's a busy time of year. 40 kilograms of pork for 40% off today. Damn. Damn. Yeah. It's a lot of... A lot of pork. Okay. Lurkers are the powerhouse of Switch. <laughs> of Twitch, yeah. Hey, Martha. What's up? You wouldn't happen to be going to the convent. Why do you ask? Are you thinking of joining the poor Claire's? Maybe. Ooh. Well, that's a nice idea. You think so? I'm not so sure. Be honest. What do I have to look forward to? With Dad's injury and me unwed at 25, older than all the boys in town. If they don't see me as a sister, they see me as a mom. <laughs> At the withered old age of 25. And when dad dies, not any time soon, God willing, I won't be able to claim the farm. I'll lose my home. With Anton gone, there's nobody to take it over. Oh. Hmm. I understand times are tough, but are you sure this would really make you happy? It would bring me closer to the Lord. Shouldn't we all want that? Why not withdraw from the trials of the world? You know as well as I, it's not safe out here. <laughs> uh, let's be more ambitious. Uh, Daddy, well, I don't know if making her more afraid is the right choice. Although I do love a special option. You guys know I love a special option. <sighs> You could do so much more. You just need to be more ambitious. I wish I were more like you, Magda. But I do not have your passion. I don't even know what I want from life. I wake up, I take care of Dad, I go to church, I sleep. I can't imagine what else there could be. I just exist. It's not enough. But joining the poor Claire's is a lifelong commitment. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh-oh, I think you should choose for yourself. I mean, if you're, I don't, if you're not, like, I don't think you should join a convent if you're not, like, super dedicated to joining a convent. Although, a lot of the nuns 
that we talked to in the first two acts were not super into being in a convent. They just, like, had to for other reasons. And it does kind of seem like that's what Martha's vibe is. I don't think you should listen to me. <laughs> I don't think you should join the order. Uh-oh. You can't just throw your life away after one bad day. Oh. Oh. Okay, yeah, I can see how... <laughs> I can see how I did not set myself up for success in this spell check. Uh, in this, um... Not spell check. That's nothing. What are these? Skill check. Um, well, do what the fuck you want, Martha. But I wouldn't be throwing my life away, Magdalena. Paul wrote that there is no greater reward than living for Christ. And I want to live a life with meaning, and I've always admired the sister's dedication. Besides, if I join the order, don't, Dad won't have to worry about what happens to me. I'll pray about it, but I think it's time I talk to Fr Mother Franziska and the others. So, I'll gather my courage, which little of it I have. Alright. I don't know. Do what you want. Okay. Not actually that invested in you, Martha, so... Whatever you want to do, I support. Is there nobody in here? Okay. I would like to check out this hand, though. Where do you think the head... Do you think... Do we think Otto actually had the head of St. Moritz? And if so, where... Fucking where is? Where is? How long is this after Act 2? Do you mean, like, in real time in the game? Because I think we discovered it's, it's like, 18 years? If I remember correctly? Oh, you've been hoping to speak to me. You have a moment? What do you want to talk to me about? I had heard that you'd taken up the mural in the Red House after your father's terrible attack. Yes, I'm excited to paint the town's history. <laughs> what the fuck do you have to say about it? Your enthusiasm and insistence is most troubling to some people in town. Uh, you wouldn't happen to be including yourself in that group, would you? Very astute, Magdalena. Yes, I'm concerned for you, and as are others. I understand how you must have struggled with your mother passing while you were so young. Without a maternal figure to guide you, it's no wonder your spirit has wandered and wavered from its nature. Tell me about it. Tell me about it, Abbas. I'm not sure what you mean. Where are the barbs? Where are the barbs, game? You've let me be so mean to so many nice people. Why won't you let me be mean to mean people? In the pursuit of such trades is not for women, but men. As Paul writes, God calls women to work at home, not in trades. While supporting your father is laudable, taking on his work is imprudent. There are plenty of young men and tassing worthy of you. Or perhaps you have a different calling. I'd like to offer you a place here among the sisters. Aww. Abbas, women don't exist, so I don't know why you think <laughs> I'm doing something improper. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you except that in a couple hundred years, <laughs> a couple hundred years, there are going to be some theories bouncing around that are really going to upset your understanding of the world. <laughs> if you're open to them, I guess. I mean, I'm going to choose violence, right? <laughs> um, this is... Not even not as sassy as I would hoped. Uh, but let me, I'm going to do my due diligence of speed reading the other ones. Hmm. You may be my, you may be an ordained mother, but you're certainly not mine. Magdalena Drukerin. On the contrary, your utter disregard for authority and decency shows that you would benefit from convent life. They're going to ship me up for the fucking army. The convent is just boot camp for women in the medieval times, so not at all like that. Such impetuousness is precisely why I offered you a place here. I think it would do you a great deal of good. Think on my offer, Magdalena. God bless you. Yeah, and God bless your ass, mother. That's right, Illuminata would fucking never. You guys are right. Chat, you're right. Illuminata would support it. She'd be delighted that there was somebody, that there is a woman... Making books? Man. Hey, Gertrude. Oh, I was supposed to find some flowers for you, weren't I? Father Thomas told us about your father's attack. You were incredibly courageous to run to Dr. Stoltz so quickly. 
Especially when the attacker couldn't have been about. <gasps> Thanks to you, really. Without reading Hildegard's Physica, I wouldn't have realized it was so badly hurt. You're doing your first embroidery. What are you embroidering? Medical Treatise by Hildegard of Bingen. Bingen. Bing Bingen. Saint and Doctor of the Church. It presents nine categories of healings. Plants, elements, trees, stones, fish, birds, animals, reptiles, and metals. Well, I'm glad sh she came in useful, although I wish she were not in such dire circumstances. I lit an extra votive candle in Saint Satia's shrine for each of you this morning. Aw, thank you, Gertrude. Thank you, Sister Gertrude. Dad's spirit has been... Spirits have been up, but I know he doesn't have much time. Have faith, child. The Lord cares for Klaus, just as he cared for his son. I'll see if I have any psyllium left in the convent. If you blend it with broth or wa warm wine, it will heat his brain and prevent infection. Perfect. Thank you, Sister. I'm grateful for all the help everyone in Tassing has provided. The church is a body of Christ, Magdalene. We are all one community and want to help Claus before his time. God will turn this for good, no matter what things look like now. He sees beyond time itself, but we are restricted by the present. I've been around long enough to see his fruits, even when I thought the devil had burned the fields. Keep faith, Magdalena. That's some hardcore shit, Gertrude. <laughs> Thea, I'll do my best. God bless you, sister. Yeah, love to have, love to have my heated brain. Love my brain to be hot. Watch out, hot brain. Look at this little baby, he's so fierce. He's such a little fierce baby. All right. Um, Ger yeah, you know, Gertrude really is the best. She's never stopped being just the absolute best. God saves his best character designs for his favorite nuns. Uh, I want to double check because I thought I was supposed to get some orbs. Uh, oh, right. I've got that book. I need to find Artemis. Wasn't there herbs? Wasn't she looking for herbs? Didn't Agnes say that she should get some herbs? Chat, you have to help me. My brain's too cold for me to remember such things. Alright, well, we'll just keep walking. Uh, getting herbs was in the previous act. No, I thought, I thought Agnes mentioned something about getting herbs to help my dad's brain. Was that not... I mean, I know I know that was in Act 2, but was that not in Act... Was there not something like that in this one? Didn't Ag... Wasn't Agnes, like, get some shit for me? And I'll help you or whatever? I mean, we, we opened it by looking for galls. And successfully finding some. Maybe... I don't know. I might be... I might just be mixed up. Agnes said talk to Gertrude, but I... Damn. She said talk to Gertrude. Well, uh... Well, if y'all don't remember it, then I'm probably misremembering. But I remember... No, I remember talking to... <gasps> Ulrike! You can't hide from me, little bean. You're too good, Mag! I'll go find Mom now. Alright, bye, kiddo. Yeah, no, because I remember, because everybody, because Stoltz is washed up and bitter and he sucks. And I was talking to Agnes and she was like, yeah, that dude's fucked up, huh? <laughs> uh, maybe if you get some herbs, we can, we can feed that to your dad. I really, I really thought that would happen. Hey, Thomas, what's up, my dude? Uh, any luck finding that tabernacle tea? I'm sure it'll turn up. I forgot I was supposed to figure out, I guess I was supposed to tell Apollo, or I was supposed to ask Apollo about the, the key. 
but it didn't let me. Well, because, uh, uh, Mechtel, um, the lady whose name I can never remember, who is imprisoned in a tomb in the church, said she basically saw Artemis and Apollo take it. And I promised I wouldn't narc. I don't know if I did literally, but I, I, I Jenna, <laughs> promised not to narc. So I wanted to find them and tell them where it's at. But where the fuck are these? Oh wait, hey, did y'all lose some pigs? Yeah, the grave lady's still there. St and still being spooky and cool. I mean, the... I mean, it's gotta be really deep by now, right? Like, like the grave has to be... Like, has to be at, like, bedrock, right? How do I ask somebody... I guess maybe I can't... Yeah, Ill Peter's still alive if you'd fucking believe it. Hey, did you lose a fucking pig? None of these people are worried about their lost pig. Ha <laughs> Nicholas, I love that. She's like, I gotta get out of this fucking... I can't ruin my sweet gig at this church, but I gotta get the fuck out of here. So she's just been slowly digging her way out. I like that a lot, actually. Hey, Blacktail. Wait, was I supposed to talk to you about some myths? Yes, because your dad used to know some myths. Yeah, she actually, she had a picture of Rita Hayworth that she was using to cover up the grave. Oh, it says you've been obsessed with your painting. Uh, I'm looking into the early days of Tassing for the first part of the mural. Mother Luminata said your father read about the history of the town. Uh, fertile fields, that is. Seems like old pot shards and Latin trivia were all he ever talked about. All of Granddad's reading came from the Abbey's library, though. And you know what happened there. Poof! Up in smoke. So, you don't have any of his old books? Only a few. Granddad tried to buy some when the Abbey fell on hard times, but they were too expensive. But I can show you something better than books. My ass? Evidence? Something like that. See, we don't have any books of the old pagans, but we do have their stuff. <laughs> Shards of ceramic pots and animals, bricks from what looked like an old forge, mountains of salt. Cool. Even found a little bear carved from amber. <gasps> cool. You put your duck in Discord. I can't wait to see it. I look forward to it. Hello, Adam Danes. Welcome. I can't. I hope we get to see the little bear carved from amber. Hobbs. <laughs> um. Where did you find all this stuff? It's not just me. Carl finds things too. Fabian too. Any farmer will tell you the same. Cool. Forbidden bummy bear. Oh no. <laughs> Do not eat the amber. Amber is the color of your stomach ulcers after you've eaten it. That didn't work. I'm sorry. It's all out there in the fields under the dirt. Can't go one season without turning up something. Have we discovered big head mode? Yes. I turned it off though because... <laughs> Some of the scenes in this game are pretty serious and pretty intense. And I think the vibe of having big head mode in some of the conversations would be pretty upsetting. <laughs> Why are you keeping these things? Nowhere. We just toss them into piles with the rest of the rocks and root clumps. Sure, it's interesting, but we can't do much of anything with the stuff except look at it. What do you think it all means? I don't I don't follow. What do you think they were like? Huh, I guess I never really thought about it. They seem like regular people. Their um, remains all look like ours. Tools and blades are rougher, but not badly made. The little carvings and ceramic critters weren't so different from the things Ava made for oats. Huh, I suppose I expected them to be more strange. Because they weren't Christians? No doubt they were coarse, but they didn't seem especially violent. Not like the church says. Not so different from today, really. Hell yeah. Earlier you mentioned something about salt. Did the pagans start the mine? Had had to have, I say. Most people think it was a Roman project, but I think the Romans just dug out what was already there. That's why tassing was so important to the Romans in the first place. Salt. That's why. 
See, that's why Magdalena is so salty. She's just paying tribute to her pagan for forebears. Wow, that is a gummy bear, though, huh? Hems and Haws, you weren't fucking kidding. That really is just like a, a like a honey gummy bear. It's pretty good. So Tassing wasn't just on the Imperial Road. They made the road come through Tassing. Do you think there's anything left of the pagans down there? I don't know, but anything they left would be would have to be better preserved than what we dig out of the fields. Magdalena, tell me you aren't thinking of going down there. I'm not thinking about it. I've already decided to do it. What if there's stuff that could help me with the mural? Magdalene! That mine is hundreds of years old. You could break your neck just getting down in there. It's worth it for the mural. I'm an artiste. <laughs> I wanted to try my best for dad. Imagine how hurt, how your dad would feel if you got hurt. Uh, uh, it's okay. Persuade Black Till to help you with the mine? Fuck yeah, I will. Then help me get down safely and you won't have to worry. You're bullheaded just like your mother. And your father. Eh? Probably couldn't keep you out if I tried. That's right. Yeah, don't bite rocks. You gotta kick them. Get out of here. <laughs> Please, Till. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Don't know how to get you down there myself. But I know those twins have gotten in a time or two. No doubt they have a trick. Oh, good reminder to hydrate. Oh, I don't have any water. My water bottle sprung a leak. And it... It left a puddle in the carpet. It was not ideal. And Baltus might not be the most reliable man, but I don't doubt you could rig something up for you, too. Thank you, Till. Don't mention it. I'm serious. Don't. <laughs> this has been a big help. Glad to spread some knowledge around. Important for folks to know about their past. You think all this pagan stuff will make it in the mural? I can bring some of the things the boys and I have found over to the rat house tomorrow, if that help at all. That would be great. I'm glad you're taking an interest, Magdalene. I thought no one cared about the pagans but me and Granddad. I should warn you, if you do head into the forest, keep an eye, eye out for the Lordsmen. They're strict. Worse now than they used to be. I'll be careful. Until tomorrow. I think Black Till just made a pretty convincing argument uh, for everybody to visit their local history museums. Y'all probably have one. If you've never been, I, I think local history museums are perfectly delightful. I'm actually doing low-key some volunteer work for for the local history museum of my region. Because they're trying to add technology. They're, doing, they're redoing the museum and they're trying to add technology. But everybody who's on the board... <laughs> working on the on the museum is old and so they don't know how any technology works so i'm here to provide support hello ava magdalena darling oats isn't here i'm afraid visit your local mine today there actually is a local mining museum like not like super close but like close enough that I could go there pretty easily. I think like an hour is away or so, one hour away or so. Uh, and I've never been, but I do think they let you like go down on a mine elevator or something. I should see if that's still open. I should get some firsthand mine experience. Uh, anyway, should I stream from a mine? <laughs> <laughs> should I should I live stream from a, a mine? <laughs> I'll have to think about that. That would be really fucking funny. I would have to get some sort of uh there's an old mine cavern. I Hobbs, I think that's exactly what I'm thinking of. There's an old mine cavern like an hour out of St. Louis, St. Louis on 55 West. I think that might be precisely what I'm thinking of. It's one of those things that I've definitely, like, driven past and been like, oh, do I want to go to a mine museum? And then thought, nah, <laughs> I don't. But I do now. I'm an adult now, and I want to go to weird museums. I want to learn about industrial American history of my region. I wasn't looking for him. No, are you sure? I think he wandered off toward the rat house. 
something about the console, but if you ask me, I think he's looking for you. Doesn't he do any real work? Oh, yes. He's always working on town console, console business these days, and he's still working at mastering carpentry, too. I suggested a few years ago that he take up an apprenticeship, but he was determined to remain in Tassing. I think he's more comfortable here, even if he means he'll never be the craftsman Otto was. I help him how I can, but there's only so much I know how to do. Besides, I think he feels like he's taking care of me instead of the other way around. Funny how time does that. Uh... I would jump at the chance to leave Tassing if it didn't mean Dad would be left alone. I imagine- oh, that's a mean thing to say. I think Dad misses Mom even after all these years. Do you ever miss Otto? Every day. I see him in the little thing Oates does, the way he smiles or how he laughs. I miss my husband, but I'm proud of Oates. He's grown into a capable young man. I'm excited to see him grow into a husband and a father. He'll make a wonderful partner. Mm. Whoever he marries will be a will be a lucky woman. It's about time to start finding a match too. This is I you don't It's wonderful that God blessed Indris with a wife at last, but I'd rather not have Oates be in his position. Better to marry early when he, while he can raise a family. Anyway, I'm sure you have things to do. I'll let you get back to it. Good to see you. Yeah, you too, Ava. Not gonna marry your son, Ava. It's not what I'm here for. I'm gonna get your child a book. This wooden horse is really cute, though. But babies get books on this stream. Okay. A blacksmithing course? That's cool. There's a- St. Louis is having a Midwest Fiber Festival sometime in April. I didn't double check when. Uh, and I, I was talking to some friends of mine. I was talking to Paul and I was like looking over because they've got a bunch of classes, fiber related classes. And I was like, they've got a broom making class. Uh, and then I started thinking about it and I was like, damn, I actually, I think I actually do want to take a broom making class. And Paul was like, I thought you were being serious. It never occurred to me that you were joking. And I was like, Paul, Paul knows me, knows me too well. Anyway, I think I'm going to learn how to make brooms. Because <laughs> why not? Uh, we have not talked to Ursula yet. I'm getting help to go down into the mines. Did I need something? Yeah, if you had a moment, I need to get into the old mines, but I can't find a way down. Can you help me? <laughs> Mac tilt, no, it's fair. It's fair. It's the, the brooms are specifically like old school circular, like they are like witch ass brooms. I'm gonna make one and then I'm gonna get a hearth somewhere so that I can sweep it out. Uh. To get into the salt mine, yes, you must be going quite an adventure. Ideally, we could rake up a double pulley system to raise and lower you yourself down the shaft, but that might take a while. Well, I'd like to go in today if possible. Yeah, yeah. Would a good look of length of rope suffice? You could brace against the wall of the mine shaft. Are you strong enough to support your own weight? Against the wall? I think so. Yeah, all right. Here you go. Be careful. Yeah, we'll see. No, oh, I already talked to you. They also have basket making classes. And I'm also thinking about taking a basket making class. Because it, it, the basket making class it pitched was uh, a market basket. And I'm just really, I'm really just so pleased at the idea of making a basket to take to a farmer's market and being like, oh, I made this basket myself. I made this basket myself and now I'm putting my things in it to eat. I think that's just um, so fucking picturesque. Right? Isn't that just like, isn't that just like premium, like so idyllic? Cottagecore, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, just so good. Oh, it'd just be so good. A mochi cake? 
And I'll take this rope as well. All right, I double roped. Is mochi cake, is it made with like mochi flour? He wants to make a bike basket. Oh, that's also just incredibly idyllic. Damn, that's good. Um, where the fuck is Artemis? Maybe she's already in the mines? Where have I not looked? Bye, Cosmic Luna. I guess she might, yeah, she might just be in the mines. Because I think I've literally gone everywhere else. Maybe, did I go by, maybe I'll run by St. Stacia. Did I go by the mill? I think I went by the mill. Yeah, I remember, I talked to, talked to Paul. <laughs> hey dude, where the fuck's your sister? Oh. Mind your own business? That's pretty good. Oh no, there she is. Okay. Hey, what's up, lady? Did you need something? I'm a little busy right now. Still catching frogs? Damn it, Apollo. He can't keep his fat mouth shut. What do you want, Magdalena? I want to see what our forefathers and the Romans left behind. It's for the mural. The mural! You want to use our secret hideout for your mural? But your secret hideout? But everyone knows you two hide down there. Yeah, but they don't know how to climb down there, do they? It's secret enough. So why should I to tell you how to get in? Uh, cuz we're friends? You told my mother when I cut my hair so I didn't have to wear braids five years ago. I still hold that grudge. Look, I'll show you how to get into the mine on one condition. You help Apollo and me with our next prank. No telling, no stitches, no questions asked. Ha! Huh, no way, I'm not that stupid. Then good luck getting down there, I won't help you otherwise. I'll find another way in. Uh, do you think she cut her hair? Do you think she cut her hair so that she and Apollo could get into some parent trap hijinks? Where they swap the loose baggy clothes that they each wear? <laughs> and go on to fun weird events? Well, because I don't know what the prank is. I've got a lot on my plate. Do you guys want me to help with the prank? Everybody wants me to help with the prank? Okay. I'm actually fine helping with the prank. He didn't tell you. Christ, finally he's learning to keep his mouth shut. Ah, come on, just tell me. No way, this is our biggest trick yet. We're not risking it to tell you. We'll just have to wait and see. Ah, uh, I might have lost our chance. I mean, obviously it's some kind of frog prank. Well, we're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. I should have helped with the prank. You guys are right. It was a mistake. It was a mistake not to help with the prank. Uh, I have not done any saves coming yet, and I'm not going to do it for frogs. If I didn't do it for that shitty-ass hunting scene, I'm not going to do it for frogs. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go now. Do we think my rope is better or Baltus's rope? I'll I'll use I'll lose my rope. Can you die here? Let's find out, Mechtel. <laughs> I mean the captions aren't totally wrong. Some really dedicated rope tying animations. 
Hallelujah. Uh, yeah, Drew, I know. The the goal has actually been very effective in getting us down there. I really want to, I've been working on uh, graphics to do a graphics overhaul, and I'm hoping to have them done and uh, ready to go so that when I hit one, uh, and when I hit 10,000 subscribers, I can launch my new graphics. It'll be so exciting. It'll be like a fucking event or some shit. And then just slide, slide down. It does feel like... It does feel like we're gonna end up retracing the steps that Andreas and Casper took. God, I hope we figure out what happened to Casper. Nice. Yeah, Nicholas, I was thinking the same thing. There are lots of different coins down here. How odd. It's not like this is a saint's well. Oh, a tablet. There's still writing on it. Ooh. Uh, Sark one, I think the convenient lantern is from the twins. So. Oh, it's a poem. Oh, I think it's a love note. Ha <laughs> ha. Poor Jay. I hope her lover was better at things. I hope her lover was better at things other than poetry. Ha! Get him, girl. Ooh. Oh, it looks like a larger version of some of Baltus's contraptions. This winch must be attached to some sort of hauling and pulley system. Fascinating. Now that I'm down here, I should see what I can find of the Roman era and beyond. Bones. Far too big to be human? No horns. Looks like a mule to me. Perhaps it hauled that winch. Poor creature dying down here. Ooh, ooh. ooh a cave. Hold on. A piece of pottery. It was some Yowie fanfic. <laughs> wow, we just uncovered the first ever Omega fic. Wow. Another piece? I wonder if they're all the same pot. I guess I'll do... There we go. Let's do, let's do this room by room. Another piece? <gasps> Look at these cool carvings! This must be the same kind of figurines that Till and the other farmers find in the field. To think there are so many remnants of our ancestors scattered in fields and caves like this. Yet another pottery piece. Hey, Corvus Punk! There, there, there are so few times to join that are not <laughs> out of context. Sark one, that would I would lose my fucking shit. If that were the case. This pottery is scattered everywhere. There's a Latin inscription here. Cassia, give me water, or Pluto, preserve me. This salt is drying me to death. Yikes. Doesn't sound like the working down here was pleasant. Cool. Oh. This looks like a Roman map of Tassing. I wonder what's changed. Music. Whenever there's music in this game, it means some shit is going down. Let's see if I can map everything out. There's the aqueduct in the spring. The abbey was an old fort on the hill. Yeah, so that's this is the abbey. Here's the aqueducts. Here's the salt mine, Selina. Balne Balneum? And the re there's the rest of town. Wait, what's this building? I don't recognize it. Mithraeum? I don't recognize that word from any of my books. That's probably where they dug up Mithril. Mark my words. I can't tell what it's meant to label on the map. Maybe some sort of temple? 
Well, whatever it is, it's not in Tassing now. That's so odd. Another inscription. It's not very formal. A worker must have carved it. I'm so glad we took the polyglot. Uh, <laughs> I'm so glad we took the polygot trait. Latus's soul ascended in the Mithrium. My soul will descend in this damn hall of salt. Oh, is it like a hospital? Christ, that's rough. There's that word again, Mithrium. It must have been important to the Romans. Hey, this piece looks like it matches the other pieces I found. I mean, if we are not, I mean, if this isn't just excavation of Hobbs Barrow all fucking over again. This almost looks like an altar, but what would an altar be doing in a salt mine? It's even carved out of the salt. Hmm. That's a penis! Mecto? Mecto? You can't say that. Oh, another piece. But where is Pissed Cat? The, the question we've all been wondering. <laughs> More Latin writing. If we cannot enter the Mithraeum, we will make our own altar to the gods. It sounds like the Mithraeum was some kind of temple. Huh. Never heard the word before. Hobbes says Mithraeum refers to the cult of Mithras, a popular cult apart from the Roman religion that worshipped a Persian sun god and that had some elements that are echoed in the development of Christian doctrine during Roman times. Fucking cool. Huh. I have a lot of these pottery pieces. I should find out if they're all from the same pot. Yes! A puzzle? Yes! Fucking love puzzles. No, 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 that was right. I love games. I love when the games let you do games. I wanna put that back. No. Okay, fine. Well, I don't think that's where that goes. I mean, but maybe? No. Oh god. Oh god, this spinning is out of control. That's a bodet. Uh, I guess it probably goes there. No, 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 go back. Go back. There we go. Hmm. Where? Looking for a bod. A stabbed bod. Well, that ain't it. Let's put that over there. Yeah, we're actually gonna so solve an ancient Roman murder in a in a dramatic twist. <laughs> that would um that would kind of rule, actually. No 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 no
Okay. Uh, okay. The figures on this pot lid look like they're telling a story. These paintings must depict an early myth, even before the Romans. Uh, let's see. This might be Perkta, and those must be forest spirits. Part of the wild hunt? Oh, God. The next part looks like a human sacrifice. Someone, maybe a chieftain, is sacrificing a man to Perchta? The bottom half of the lid continues the story. These look like spirits. They must be coming in to feast on the sacrifice. That must be how our ancestors tried to keep Tassing safe. They offered sacrifices to Perchta. To think that our ancestors made this and I'm holding it now. Maybe this is what I could paint in the mural. I'll have to think more about it before I decide for certain. Alright, I'd better keep going before I run out of oil. Cool. Oh, a cave-in. The wood here looks newer than the other first parts of the mine. Was this collapse recent? Mm, I won't be able to go any further with all the rubble. I suppose this is as far as I can go. Still, the murals on the walls... Uh, Wall, tell me what Tassing was like when Rome was here. I wonder if I can find out where the Mithraeum was, or what it was. And putting the pottery shards back together showed me one of the earliest stories of Tassing. I think I've seen everything I can down here, and my oil is running out. Time to climb back up. Cool. Cool! We did archaeology! Is that was that was at the bottom of the well? Maybe. All right. Now let's easily and simply climb back up out of here. Oh. Ah. Wait, who's that? <gasps> Are we gonna get murdered? No. Hello, is somebody there? <gasps> I'd better get out of this shaft before another rock comes crashing down. Don't test that rope. Don't test the rope. Test the no. Don't climb. Test the rope. Test the rope first. Okay. No, it's fine. Okay. Well, that's fine then. Who? Who was that? It probably was probably just this little chunky little owl. It was probably just this little nugget of an owl. Even Apollo and Artemis would have helped me out of here. Well, now I have more information. I can make some decisions on the first section of the mural. I should get back to the rat house and get to work. It, yeah, it looked so much like a rotisserie chicken. I loved it. Okay. Yeah, she does not... S Nobody in this town is concerned enough about the attempted murders. Oh, pig. Pig. Pig? Pig. You. Say nothing. I'm talking to you. Answer me. You don't need to be so rude. I'm Hollerbrand, the Lord's gamekeeper. I'll give you courtesy when you merit courtesy. That's the trick, is I'm never going to merit courtesy. Why are you grazing pigs in the woods? Hmm. 30 to 50 feral hogs, God. I was watching the Australian Taskmaster before this, and one of the contestants does a video basically about how, how dangerous wild hogs are, uh, and does not reference that meme at all. This is a separate incident of feral hogs be it, it like it is not a meme it is just a coincidental thing happening in australia i guess <laughs> i'm not that's not my pig i've been walking around this forest for hours other than the charcoal burner and the tinkerer you're the only other person i've seen here if the pig doesn't belong to you what are you doing here i was in the salt mine doing what Julia is so good, yes. 
I'm really enjoying. I just started Taskmaster Australia because I heard it was very good, and I'm enjoying it. I don't like their uh, their version of the. I don't know the Task Boy. <laughs> I don't like him as much as I do uh, as I like the New Zealand or or mainstream task boy. But other than that, I'm really into it. Wait, I don't care. Just tell me whose pig this is. I don't know. The pig was in the woods when I came in here. Ah, a mysterious lost pig who apparently belongs to no one. Yes, yeah, the Alex or the Paul of it all. Because uh, I feel like both Alex and Paul bring different vibes to their Taskmasters. But they're both really funny. It is funny that they're both named Tom. That's very good. I think New the New Zealand Taskmaster is as good or better than the mainstream Taskmaster. Uh, I, feel like, I feel like the vibe on UK Taskmaster is that uh, they are both fairy folks that have been captured and are doing these little tasks, but neither of them are quite human. Uh, and I like New Zealand because I feel like Paul uh, is like a human that has been captured by the Fae and is having to do the tasks. And I think that's a really funny vibe. I think they're both really, really good. And the, the, the Taskmaster Australia has been really good so far too. Uh, who apparently belongs to no one, say nothing. Oh, come on, dude. What the fuck? If I find any more pigs in these woods, I'll kill them on the spot. And th those who brought them here. Do you understand? Y yes? Good. Remind your neighbors what happens when you break into the Lord- break the Lord's laws. Really unchill. Hymns and Haws is really good. If you're not watching, y'all, if y'all, if you in the chat are not watching Taskmaster, I cannot recommend it more enough. It, it is such chaotic, fun vibes. I knew the Lord's Men patrolled these woods, but I've never seen one before. I didn't realize they were so strict. I suppose I should consider myself lucky. Anyway, time to get out of these woods. Uh, actually, a lot of it's on uh, YouTube, at least in America. The first, like... Uh, the first, like, ten seasons or something are on YouTube on Taskmaster. Um, sheesh. They're all... Mo I think most of the... Well, I, I shouldn't say that. I was going to say most of the Taskmaster versions are good, but that's simply untrue. The United States version of the Taskmaster is unwatchable. It's fucking terrible. Uh... It's so lifeless. And I've watched some of the... Because the, the, the Taskmaster U YouTube channel has posted some of the, like, Denmark Taskmaster and stuff. Um, and I've watched some of those, but no, none of them ever really popped out at me. Yeah, there was, a, there was briefly a United States version. Uh, it was... It was only a half hour long, which was already sort of a failing... Um, yeah, and they reused all the tasks, so it wasn't really unique. Um, Reggie Watts was the Taskmaster, and I think that could work. I feel like if they had just let Reggie Watts be Reggie Watts, it would have been a good show. But he was trying to be Greg, and that's not what Reggie Watts' vibe is. And it fucking doesn't work. It's so awkward. It's like none of these people had ever met before go they went into this. It's so awkward. Yeah, I don't think any of the Taskmasters should try to be, be Greg. I think they should all bring their own vibe to it, but they didn't. Um, all of the people on the show... Like, the lineup is good for the, U, the, the American Taskmaster. Like, the people they have are really good, but, like... Everybody just kind of does the tasks. The only one who goes wild with it was Lisa Lampanelli. And Lisa Lampanelli looks like she's having a fucking crazy time. She looks like she's having the best, most weird time. Uh, and it's really, it's the only redeeming part of it is watching her go at it. The, the rest of the contestants are just, they just sort of do the task. Uh, and they don't really get weird or wild with it, which is a shame. Oh, hey, Clara. You came by to cook dinner. You're such a sweetheart. I can't tell you how much more time this gives me to work on the mural. Oh, it's no trouble. You have your hands full as it is. 
I know Dad really enjoys the company while I'm working, too. Uh, yes, he sleeps most of the day, but he's been in good spirits whenever I drop in on him. You two keep a keen, clean house, too. Well, aside from the workshop, but I can't blame you for that. I've left that to you to take care of. I don't want to damage any of your supplies. Thank you, Clara. Truly, you've been such a blessing. You're such a dear. You're a dear. No, you are. Anyway, I love Taskmaster. <laughs> Taskmaster is like just top tier entertainment shit. And if you haven't tried it, I cannot, I cannot recommend enough. I feel like the, the first season is one of the best even. Like they get off to such a good start. Uh, and the seasons vary in quality based on... Hi, Pops. Uh, the seasons base vary in quality, I think, based almost entirely on the contestants. Uh... Because some, some of the seasons... I'm a little worried about this season of Taskmaster because I'm worried that everybody is too, like, chill. <laughs> I worry everybody's too straightforward with how they're approaching the task. And the show is really good when you get, like, a Bob Mortimer or something like or somebody like that who's just going to go... Who's just going to do the weirdest shit you could never think of. Wozniak, also really good. Um, one of my favorite contestants is... God, what was her name? Um, the one who's like a very formal lady and you think she's just going to be uh, a very chill, straightforward uh, contestant. And then she goes fucking off the hook. Judy Love is also incredible. I love Judy Good. Yes, Rod Gilbert, also incredible. I'm going to look up her name because um, she's genuinely just one of my favorites. I think she was in the same season as Bob Mortimer. Uh, Catherine Richard or Catherine Ryan's also just fucking incredible. Should we make, should we do a tier list of, <laughs> should we do a stream sometime that's just a tier list of Taskmaster contestants? Um, Cause they are all just really incredible. And you can drop in at any time and just have a hell of a good time. Sally Phillips, yes, Sally Phillips is 100% who I'm thinking of, Emmy. I uh, just like the the about face that I took on her um, based on like her introduction and then how she actually is in the season is just like, what is happening? Um, a Discord watch party would also be good. Yes. She does har harass Alex so much, but in such a weird way. <laughs> Such in a particularly weird way. She's just, she's so unflappable. Uh, and, and she somehow beats Alex at being unflappable. And I think that's really incredible. I would do a rewatch of any season of Taskmaster at any time. Ah, oh, there you are. Had enough of hiding, Ulrike? Yes. Magna found me so quick. She's a good finder. Hmm. I mean, that would be an incredible watch party to do. Uh, I still haven't figured out how to do watch parties. Oh, fuck. Wait, yes. <laughs> Emmy. <laughs> Emmy. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> um, I really love the, the Champion of Champions episode where Catherine Ryans does... Um, where she has to make a mess and she just calls her family members and gossips and lies about her sister having an affair and, and maybe being pregnant out of wedlock. And like, <laughs> genuinely some of the best 10 minutes of television that has ever been made. Catherine Ryan's such a, uh, what a fucking queen. She's just the best. Oh my God. Fern Brady, also incredible. Yes. Oh, my God. So good. So good. God, Taskmaster is such a fucking good show. If I could have one wish, it would be to be a contestant on Taskmaster. I don't know how I get famous enough to get that to happen. <laughs> yes. Her song is so good. <laughs> Um, no one can escape me, little one. I'll hide better next time. I'm hungry now. Well, let's get you something to eat, little dove. Pretzel? Oh, is that what a proper child eats? Hmm. Thank you for your time, Magdalena. Always glad to play with the children, but I really have to go now. I can't wait to see where you'll end up painting. You will do us proud, I'm sure of that. 
Create Twitch Master? <gasps> Ooh. I would be, I would do, I would do, here's the thing is I'm worried I would be really competitive and I'm worried my competitiveness would get in the way of me being super chaotic. But I also feel like I would do everything I could to exploit every possible moment. Paul F. Tompkins wants to be on task. I think Paul F. Tompkins would be an incredible Taskmaster contestant. I think he would fucking crush it. I absolutely know enough cool people to do a Twitch Master variant. What would that even look like? I have to think about it. I have to think about it. I would need a little... Well, I know exactly who my Alex would be. It would be Justin Green, the DM for Burnt Cookbook Party. <laughs> if I had to find a little scamp. <laughs> a little scamp to cut capers and make merry. It would absolutely be Justin. Uh, hold on. I want to check and see if there's anybody in these houses. But then I am going to... I feel like... I mean, ju I mean, Justin has low-key admitted. Actually, Justin has outright admitted to me that sometimes, uh, it in the when we're when we're doing the opening segment of Burnt Cookbook Party, when we're just doing like the introductions, and I ask him how he is, he he has told me that sometimes he will prepare an Alex Horn esque sequence or response <laughs> in order in order to to um nudge us in certain ways um so i think he's already i think he already is the alex horn i'm gonna approach him about this because it would be really fun i bet i could get the drawfee people and i bet i could get some of the dungeons and daddies people in on some sort of weird hijink i'd have to we'd have to do some i don't know what that would be though i have to think about it Actually, you know, I, I did have this idea. I basically wanted to do this as a video um, with video games where we gave people in-game tasks and um, just let them figure it out. It was, it was stuff like get to 100 gold coins as fast as you can in blank game. Because um, I am just like, the thing I love about Taskmaster is how wild it is to see people's different mental approaches to tasks and the best seasons are when the contestants have wildly different takes on how to do things uh, and the worst seasons are ones where they all just kind of do the task uh, the same way um, because then you don't get the, that kind of perspective but it's always so fascinating to be like oh how is how is uh Munya gonna take this task compared to everybody else in the season like it's just like fucking fascinating uh, and I think that you could just import that into video games and have kind of a great time. I love Manya. <laughs> I love Manya so much. Hey, Mags. How's the mural coming along? Sigh heavily. What? Oh, right. Magdalena. Sorry. Anyway, Magdalena, how's the mural going? Doesn't look like much yet. Ah. Um, well, <laughs> I think I am going to nudge him on this one. <laughs> Neither do you, but the town has learned to accept it over the last 18 years. Aw, oh, did that hurt your feeling? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Listen, you got to take a little bit of ribbing. Anyway, I only just finished priming the wall. Now I have to decide what to depict. <laughs> Uh, it's hard to piece together the history of casting when it happened so long ago. Since the Abbey Library burned, I can only rely on the stories from people around Tassing. Even what I could find about the Romans and Pagans was obscure. I had to go to the old salt mine to find anything. At least now I know what to paint for the first part of the mural. So what is it? Hmm. Ooh. Okay, I have to decide. Whoa. Yeah, Liz, I also love that. That I mean, I but also in this season, in the new season, if you haven't seen it, there is an, a task where there's text on the back and nobody checked on the back. Um, that's one of the things I really liked about... God, what was her name? Um, 
Sarah Millican because Sarah Millican would always check the back and there was that one task where they like got her they like got her <laughs> for checking I really liked that um I think Alex Horn was secretly extremely pleased by that uh is the pottery and the tools Mars Tassia and how the spring was blessed the heal the wolf god these are all really good options a Sarah Millican is a Sarah Millican's a fucking delight. Her play that she wrote that Fern Brady acted is like, that's also like top tier, like top 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 t ten, maybe top five of all time Taskmaster moments. It's just fucking incredible the delivery Fern Brady has on it, where she's like, I was trying to do an impression of Sarah. <laughs> it's, just, it's so good. I think I do. I do think I'm gonna paint the horny mural. <laughs> Um, although I do, I am intrigued about this. I feel like, I do feel like, I don't think any, I don't think the town, nobody in the town is going to be happy with everything that I've painted. Tofu noodles, it's true. When you give books to babies, they grow up smart and horny. And that's the kind of world I want to live in. <laughs> Uh, oh, this is hard. I, cause I really want to see all of these murals and I assume whatever we choose, we'll get like some sort of visual for. Ooh. But I like, I do like the idea of starting with Tassia because that is what this area was named for. Thank you, pliable head. <laughs> I'm gonna clip that. I'm gonna clip that tweet. I'm gonna or I'm gonna clip that Twitch segment and put it on the TikToks. Mechtel, and I'm thankful that you're in the world. I don't know what to tell you. Um, it's so hard. I want to see all the pictures. I want to see all the pictures. Well, this one sounds boring, so I'm definitely not doing the first one. Maybe, let's, this might be a poll. This might be a poll. I'm going to set up a poll. We're going to figure this one out together. Because I do think this is going to have a, an, a result on the, the image. Um... Okay. Uh, ooh. All right. All right. The poll has been started. Oh, is today really ace day? Happy Ace Day to everybody in the chat. Happy all you asexuals. Thank you for being patient with my horniness. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> all right, the poll is a going. Vote as ye will. Hey, Chad, we're voting about what the mural should have. <laughs> oh, I should have turned on the um, I should have turned on the option that people could vote with their channel points because that always makes things a little bit funnier okay horny myth wins I'm glad it was always horny myth in my heart now you're stuck with democracy I wish. Sounds interesting. Is that Christian, though? I might be a little worried. Father Thomas will take it the wrong way. So what made you choose this story anyway? It's horny. Oh, it's, it's horny. <laughs> mm. 
I like that it's about the founding of Tassing. Everyone knows the spring. Everyone knows the spring in the woods. I guess that's true. We all know that it's old and it's always been there. Still, I think Father Thomas might be upset about Mars and the lady. Thanks for explaining it. I think, I think literally anybody would have been upset with any of my options. Mm. Of course, I want you all to understand why I'm making these choices. Well, now that I've figured out this portion of the mural out, I better start thinking about the next section. I'll leave you to it, Mags. Uh, Magdalene. Hey, good night, Oats. Good night, Magdalene. That's right. Good, good lad. Now that I've decided how to depict Tassing's earliest histories, I should decide how to paint Kirsau's history. Mother Illuminata's letter mentioned that the Matteo Fasinier. Oh, that was a lot of letters in the way I said it that I don't think were there. Fausigny So used to be a brother in Kirsau. She said he knew a great deal about the Abbey's history. I should write to him and ask what he remembers. Oh, and I have Esther's letter to answer too. I should write both of them now before bed. Oh, and before I write, I should read that old book Brigitte gave me. Maybe I'll learn something pertinent for the murals. Yeah, give me the book. Where the book? I want to read. Give me the book. Where's the fucking book? Hey, Dad. You sleep? Hello, Magdalena. All right. All right. I think Tassing is the town and Kearsau is the abbey. I think. Well, let's do some writing. All right. Where to begin? Write the old book. It was the Baron's before Martin stole it. When the Romans, having conquered the town, built up the walls around it, they established many temples there. This is harder to read than I thought. The book isn't in great shape either, since it's been sitting in a farmer's house for so long. Let's see. Oh, here's a section about the various dedications erected in the town. This might be easier to read. Erigo simulacrum in agre un mars nostrum operum compis com conspicat conspaghetti. I raise a vision in a field so that Mars may behold our works. Huh. Sedit Diana Loco Scatterigonosum Ispsa. The virgin Roman goddess of the hunt and wilderness, Diana, is also, also associated with fertility, the moon, and the underworld. Diana sat in a place with water oozing up from herself. Mm hmm. Probably means a wellspring. Nothing horny. There's a Quebecois taskmaster that's in French? Ooh. I'll have to check that out. Wait, pliable head. Watch it and let us know if it's good. <laughs> Oremus ut defendat opidim. Let us pray so that he or she may defend the town. Mm, none of this really makes any sense. Maybe someone with better Latin than me can help me read it. The book is so big, though. It'd be a lot of work. I could ask Sister Gertrude or Baltus for help. Werner, too. He's much better at Latin than anyone else in town. But I did treat him like a shithead last time I saw him, so maybe not that one. Maybe even Father Thomas, although Dad warned me not to bother him with secular books. Chances are slim they could help, but it might be worth asking about. I should finish writing my letter first. Mother Illuminata told me that Matthew knew some of the Abbey's early history. He's the Archdeacon of Scion now. I should write to him before the snows come. I'll write Esther, too. Um, most revered Matthew Fosigny Sao, Archdeacon of Scion. My name is Magdalene Druckma, Drucker, Druckerin. I'm the daughter of Tessing's town printer, Klaus. My father and I are creating a mural from Tassing's rat house. We want to show the history of the town and the abbey. Uh, Mother Illuminata told me that you might be the best person to ask about Kirsau's early history. 
I understand you're a busy man, but we would be most appreciative of any information you could give us. I, if you know of any places where we learn about the Abbey's history, we would appreciate it. Mm. Thank you for your help and consideration. I know it may be small comfort, but there are many in Tassing who regret who what happened during the revolt. Sister Gertrude is still here with the poor Clares, and she speaks fondly of the old abbey. Thank you for your help. Magdalene. Esther. Please forgive me for not writing sooner. So much has happened since I last wrote. Even as my last letter was en route to you, Dad was attacked in the workshop in the middle of the night. He survived, thank God, but his injuries are terrible. I worry about him. He's so dizzy he can't get out of bed. Some days his eyes are foggy and his memory fails him. Dr. Stoltz said that he's not going to recover, that it's only a matter of time before he succumbs to the injury. I don't want to believe it, but it's... Uh, of course, our good doctor is incompetent and a known drunkard, so he's been of little additional help. I can only pray that between resting and my administrations, Dad can at least be comfortable. Dad can can at least be comfortable. I have no idea who could have wanted to attack my father or why. I found a note by him, too. All it said was stop. It wasn't from the shop, because the script was written in the most elaborate hand I've ever seen. No one in Tassing has such skill in script, as far as I know. And anyway, I don't have time to wonder about it. I've had my hands full running the workshop alone while tending to Dad. What's more, the town council intended to cancel the mural entirely. I had a hell of a time convincing them to let me paint it instead. They made a fuss about my being too young, not experienced enough, strong enough to be on the scaffold, and because I'm a woman. You know how it is. I suppose I shouldn't have expected any better of them. Working on the mural has been a welcome distraction from the naysayers and my chores. And worrying about Dad. Oates has been coming under over has been coming over under the pretense of helping me prepare my paints, too. I wish he'd stop. He's not subtle, and his flirting is annoying. I feels like I'm gonna have to make a choice about whether or not I wanna marry Oates. And that's tricky. Cause like it's a classic ending, right? This is the wedding. That's what Shakespeare would do. But, uh, I just want to be a printer. I won't get married. I wish he'd stop. He's not subtle, and his flirting is annoying. I'd like to have the whole mural finished by Christmas if I can. I just want to finish it in time for Dad to see it. It would mean so much to him. If Dr. Stoltz is right, I don't know how long I'll have. I hope you're faring better than we are. All my love, Magda. I mean, yeah, he certainly isn't... He certainly hasn't... I mean, I don't know. He's been open with his emotions, which I like. But, like... You're concerned... Yeah, that is a fair concern that they're, they're gonna boot me. Want Dad to see the horny myth mural? I feel like Klaus would understand and appreciate it. It's late. I should get some rest soon. Pop. Pop. Are you ever gonna wash your head rag, Magdalena? I feel like at a certain point. Oh good, it's doing another time skip. I assume this is going to open with us getting more letters, maybe? She washes it during the time skips. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Mistress Drukrin, a few more letters for you. Yeah, I love this. I love this as a mechanic. Take care. You too, my good man. Safe travels. Good horse. Fare thee well. The first letter is from Reverend Matteo. Matthew. Look at this mod motherfucker. <gasps> He's still with Brother Rudger! Mistress Drucker, I was not acquainted with your family during my years at Kearsau. Even so, I remember your father was one of the townsfolk who prevented the peasantry from burning us alive. <laughs> I'm not overly inclined to assist the people of Tassing in their endeavors to catalog the origins of the abbey they destroyed. 
However, it was a long time ago. In the interest of posterity and Christian charity, I will tell you what I recall. <gasps> and Rutger's wearing some beautiful pink tights. I mean, he's his whole he looks like a fucking Bauhaus character. Like, I love it. I love it. Sometime after the Romans left, Christians settled in the region and built Kearsau Abbey on the ruins of a fortress. The abbey was founded by a noble woman of, Kears of the Kearsau family. She was both its patron and its first abbess. Perhaps two centuries ago, Kearsau changed to being run by an abbot. I do not know the reason, but many other double monasteries did likewise around the time. It may have been done out of fear of being shut down, as double monasteries were frowned upon by the Pope. Sadly, that is the extent of my knowledge. Your neighbors put any other records about the abbey to the torch. Sic erist historia Kirsis. Thus burned the history of Kirsau. While we cannot change the past, I'll have heard that the sisters of the poor Clares have formed a new chapter at the abbey. I can only hope that their love of apostolic poverty has not driven them to impoverish the shrine of St. Moritz. Assuming they have not consigned the contents of Kirsau's former occupants to a bonfire, you may find something there. It is hard to be overjoyed at the news of your neighbor's late regrets. Many of the injuries inflicted 11 years ago will never heal. Regret cannot undo what has been done, but we can fi all find redemption through Christ. We must pray for love and reconciliation in the days ahead. In the end, that is all that matters. Winter comes swiftly. Huguenots? Okay. Huguenots and Lutheran plague my homeland. Let's hear what they have to say about Huguenots. A group of French Calvinists known for their vocal and sometimes violent oppression to the Catholic Church. I vaguely remember learning about some stuff in Huguenots in my medieval history classes, but boy, none of it stuck. Thank the Lord you still live in a land ruled by the one true church. I hope that this has been of some help to you and yours. May God keep and protect you. The Most Reverend Mathau, this guy, Archdeacon of Sion. Esther! What's up, my lady? You married yet, girl? Tell me the deets. I'm terribly sorry to hear about your father. Oh, right. My parents sent their deepest condolences. If we can provide you anything from Prague, you need only send word. Something, something huge nuts. <laughs> Good try. Good try, Emmy. I know we are further away than is easy to travel, but I will see what we can... If what we can do... What Hashem allows. Literally, the name in Hebrew. This is a way to refer to God indirectly in informal conversation or writing. Father says that he remembers no one who would want to harm your father. Yet, the night is I was born, he remembers great strife in town. Perhaps there is old blood over depicting the night of the revolt? That is all he could suggest. We pray for you and your father every day in, your offer in our offerings. Hashem will make all things right in time. We will exact justice on the culprit. I am encouraged to hear that the town council let you continue the mural at all. The guilds here will protect your rights to complete a job, especially once a contract has been reached. Nice. You give the men of council too much grace. Fucking right I do. Why should you be forced to settle for their old ways of thinking? We live in a new age. An age where art and science have come together. An age when all may read the works of the great sages in their own language. Truly, when your father recovers, I urge you to come visit me in Prague. But I am glad you found some joy in your work in the mural. We're all well here. Elijah has been carving a new set of wood cuttings, and father has agreed to a new contract with the university. Nice. I found Sigmund. His fa family didn't move far away after all. He's planning on working as a doctor in the city once the expulsion order ends. His parents have been meeting with mother and father quite often now. Oh, so I hope that I will be sending good news in my letter. A doctor with Hashem's help. Please inform us. Oh, be well, Esther. Aw, I'm happy for her. That's all the letters I have for now. I should go home and check on dad. Yo, pops, what up? Werner was supposed to come check on dad today. I wonder where he is. Maybe I should try to find him later. Uh, good morning, Magdalene. Morning, Pops. How you doing? Your fever broke at dawn this morning. A little stronger. All things in time. Do you want anything to eat before I leave for the day? I'm working on the next section of the mural. 
I'm not so hungry right now. I'll be all right. Your letter from the Archdeacon, yes. That's right. What did you learn from him? Mm, he didn't have much to say. He was still upset about the Abbey's destruction. He did say the Abbey was founded by a noble, noble woman after the Romans left. Everything else burned in the fire. How unfortunate. I know the brothers cut careful records of the monastery. So much lost in one night. The Archdeacon did suggest the poor Clares might have held on to some of the records from the convent. I should be able to learn more about Tassing's Christian history there. An excellent place to start. Thanks, Pop. Sister Gertrude doesn't come out of the convent much, but I think it's worth asking her. Maybe Father Thomas knows something, too. I should talk to him. If I recall correctly, the miller's wife has a long family history in Tassing. She might know something of the local history that the others have forgotten. Elise? I thought she moved here when she married. She doesn't have any relatives in town. Not anymore. Age, illness, and marriage took the rest of her family. But the Caviezel Caviezel used to live all up and down this valley. Go talk to her, hmm? I will. Thanks, Pops. <laughs> no, Sister Gertrude is the shape. Yeah, she's the Matroshka one. She's the one who's a perfect little shape that I want to tuck in my pocket and keep with me all the times. Maybe something remained in the Abbey's ruins. I should definitely see what's left. Be careful. You'll get your ass kicked in those ruins. I won't go too far into them, Dad, just to take a look. All right, wear a scarf too. It's getting cold out now. I can feel it under my old bones. Don't worry, Dad. I'll see you tonight, all right? Yeah, all right. Good luck. Thanks, Pops. Hmm. Go to sleep. Go to salvation? I think it's morning. Okay, yeah, it must be morning. There's people here. Uh, goodness, okay. That might be actually a good place to stop. Well, let's talk to Clara. Let's talk to Clara and then stop. Cinnamon Shakes, hello! You have to leave immediately, but hello. Hello, Cinnamon, thank you for re-upping your Prime subscription. <laughs> good to see you and goodbye. All right, well, Clara doesn't even want to talk to me, so... So that's just it. I guess let's raid somebody. You snuck it in just under the wire, Cinnamon. Um, who do we want to raid? Oh, uh, we can raid Isbird. Uh, Isbird are the folks who are publishing. They're a publisher. And I always say Isbird, even though it's Isbird. Uh, but they're the ones publishing Demon School. Uh, the game that we're working on, that I'm, I'm working the, for the studio for. So let's go raid them. They're playing Resident Evil 4. Oh, I'd used a bad command. Hold on. I'm not certain who's streaming right now. I don't think it's Jacob. There we go. I don't think it's Jacob. I think they have somebody else streaming right now. Um, but we'll hop in and see together who it is. Oh, it's Fizz. All right, that'll be fun. All right. I'll see you all over there. Uh, in the meantime, I'll see you Sunday at the normal time for more of this game. Is that it? Do I say other things? No, I think I just did the stream. Okay, goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Have a good rest of your week, and we can, I'll see you Sunday.